I'm ready. Look. I'm ready. I'm ready to time you, Anthony. Anthony Bridgerton. This is so dreamy. And then there's like those electric light bulbs again, which I don't really think that's accurate. Is she having a dream? Oh, is she having a naughty dream? Oh my god, it's just like Edward and Bella at the prom! She had a horny dream about him. I mean, understandable. Of news. God damn. TVMA. She's so pretty. Look at her. She looks like a doll. Then I shall wear my most brilliant dress of all. <laughs> Something must hold his interest as it will certainly not be your conversation. <laughs> What, are you guys gonna dress like the back of your mom's fucking couch again? To be fitted for a new wardrobe. It's about time you dressed in the family colors anyway. What? You're wearing every possible color. What family color are you talking about? Oh, it's Billie Eilish. Or as my husband thought her name was Billie Eilish. He can't hear real well. He called Ellie Goulding eggly googly because he thought that's what they said on the radio. Someone is angling for a promotion in rank. Oh my god, just kiss! <laughs> my ancestral home is really quite large. Much larger than most others in the area. I love, this guy gets to it. He cuts to the chase. My ancestral home is large, I have a lot of money. Look at them. They are clearly attached. But they don't know that they're attached! Yes. I felt more chemistry when being fitted at the modiste. Okay, I must confess, girl, that thing makes your hair look like you're a moth. Like, doesn't that look like... She looks Jesus like a moth. Hmm? Oh, now he will kiss her hand. I'm forever charmed by her son. They're gonna bond over a shit talking about everybody. I get it. They're in love. They don't know it. You look exceedingly familiar to me, my lord. Or is it your grace? No, you're not going to understand. Anthony's not going to understand. That it's just that Simon doesn't know that he loves Daphne. Might I entice you to take in one of my performances sometime soon? Perhaps tomorrow night? No. Shut up. <laughs> Sister, whatever you do. I can't sleep too horny. Thank you, brother, for the milk. We will have to do this again sometime. You could have just shared one. You could have gotten a cup. As well. Prince Friedrich of Prussia. His Highness has come Prince, to our shores. Prince Friedrich. The costume and the actor. I mean, he looks like he just sprinted here from his day job as, like, Cinderella's prince in Into the Woods. Oh, I... Fucking love lots of pictures in different sizes, all crowded into the wall. I fucking love it. That's one of my favorite fucking things in the world. Were I looking for a list of debutantes mm. and their dubious accomplishments, I could have stayed home and read Lady Whistledown. I could have stayed home and read Eloise's blog. I certainly was not addressing you. I thought that the point was that she was gonna dress like the rest of them. How could you let me rattle on like that? How could I nod, my dear Mr. Bridgerton? Oh, thank you for reminding me, like, every guy in this looks exactly the same, like, except for, like, a couple of them. Like, Anthony, I can tell apart from the other Bridgertons because we see him a lot, but the other ones- That guy could have been fucking anybody. Oh, touch hands. Touch each other's hands. Touch hands. Go, 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 go! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah! We are hand touching! Yes! Yes! That's- I need a fucking cigarette. I thought I would never see any hand touching that would top Pride and Prejudice and Mr. Darcy's hand flex. Oh my god. Ooh, I love a good hand touch. <laughs> How about a round of applause for the bitches that didn't fall down? We need to make haste if you still plan to attend this evening. No, don't go. Don't no. go to the opera. We'll be straight home tonight instead. Yeah! He got all the love he needed out of that hand touch. 
Are you sure there are no gentlemen lingering about the gallery? Are you sure I'm not popular? <gasps> what is the name of it? It does not have a name. Every song has a name. It is just a song, Eloise. Don't put it in your blog, Eloise. Many men make declarations of love when they want to make love. But where is the man whose love remains true oh, no. when the consequences of lovemaking are brought to his attention? I don't feel like that was necessarily her being mean. Like, she's been a bully before, but that that felt really honest. And I feel like it's something that, like, it was probably good that that girl heard. Are you suggesting I marry your brother? No. I'd be fine with that. You can't just take that. Those roses are for everybody. When you touch yourself. Oh, <gasps> he straight up said that. Now you gotta. You oh, do look at she's blushing. Touch yourself. Oh shit! This is Frank. <laughs> Her world is rocked. You can't just leave her standing like that. Ah. One thing I don't like is the trope that the heroine doesn't like even know anything about her body or her own sexuality until a guy explains it to her but i also know that these are these uh, that was kind of the trend around this time that the book was written not i'm not saying it's a historical documentary but around the time that the book was written What up, Janine Garofalo? I found bits of your sketchbook in the fireplace. Oh my gosh! It's like hereditary. <laughs> if I could throw the sketchbook in the fire and then like one of the other Bridgerton brothers like goes up in flames because even the sketchbook can't tell them apart. Therefore she has nothing. And still she writes. You're a man, therefore you have everything. She's like, my blog makes me a hero! Are you Lady Whistledown? Are <laughs> you an accomplished writer? Saying. You'd have my full support and admiration either way, sister. So? She's Lady Whistledown. No. Yeah, it is. Oh, if it were, do you honestly think that I'd admit it? Exactly. You're Lady Whistledown. Like, the idea that this wouldn't have occurred to her. Like, that it would have never occurred to her to, you know, explore. To keep it YouTube friendly. It never would have occurred to her. Unless Simon told her. Like, it's okay. Like, that's a little too pure for me. Like, that's a little... That's a little too purity culture for me. But good for her. She's gonna get it done. I would say ice flavors here are divine, yes, but... Well, perhaps the two of us... I shall not be joining you today, Miss Bridgerton. Nor tomorrow. Nor any longer, for that matter. What? No, oh, dude. Come on, man. There's no need to apologize. Your brother was correct. I am and always will be a rake. So before I corrupt you... Oh, I'll shut up! up to me. I do not believe there could be a more ridiculous notion than that of us ever being... You're friends. mean! Go away! Rebellion, Broken my heart! I can't believe he's breaking up with us! For what? For what? I am heartbroken! A uh, gentleman is here for you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not. <laughs> oh, please be good news. It's not gonna be because this is a historical drama and he's at war. It would seem our efforts were not in vain. <gasps> like, it's brilliant! It's brilliant! She is so evil! But she's Atia of the Julii, so I expect it. We all know my darling might have the fortune, but it is your Daphne who has the face. I don't want to be rude, but that other chick is also hot, like, and she has money. I'm not saying. I'm not trying to compare. I'm just saying. Oh! 
the watch! He's all by himself, so he must be timing something different. Oh my god, bitch, settle down with the head! He doesn't have to wear a fucking crown. Daphne is ready to fucking stun. That is what she is there to do. She's like, I was just getting warmed up. Look at her, she's like strutting. Good job. And do not, do not talk to Simon. He has broken our hearts. Do not talk to him. Okay, just... Now we get it. We can get to the bottom of the stairs. You know, I hope Simon sees this and he realizes that she actually didn't need him the at all. Don't pose that all important question. Do you see what you did? Do you see what you did? Why settle for a Don't even look at him. one can have a prince. Right, he looks like a golden retriever, but what are you gonna do, right? It's not his fucking fault. He's like Danish or something, right? Prussian? Something like that? Oh, I forgot it's still recording. I am absolutely heartbroken. Like, um, I would, if I thought my camera would keep going, I would dive into the next one immediately because I, my heart, he has broken my heart. I cannot believe he broke up with us that way. I cannot believe it. But good for Daphne. I personally, the prince to me looks like, you know, you remember that show, The Tenth Kingdom, where there was the prince and he is turned into a golden retriever? Like, that's what he reminds me of. But you know what? That's fine. I can let it go this time. I can let it slide because I cannot believe what the Duke of Hastings has done to Daphne. Anyway, I will. I will go overreact about this. I need to go overreact to some ice cream about this. See you next episode.